Okay, welcome back. Agent J. Gatsby here with another, I don't know, story from the past. This one's less about a bar, more about a drink. The uh, story starts in Springfield at a blues bar in Theodore's with my buddy Stu and my buddy Scott. After the show's over, we've got a bottle of Kahlua and a bottle of vodka in the back seat of Scott's uh, 1968 Chrysler New Yorker that we're going to go to an after hours party with. New Yorker was a beast at a 440. It was a coupe. It was a boat, as we used to call cars back then. Uh, it was way too fast. We get in the car and we're going to head to Northampton from Springfield and uh, we're cruising up 91. We're, uh, you know, already ready to have a couple of drinks. So Stuart's in the back seat. He's got his harmonica going for a while. And then uh, we're talking about the booze and he opens the two bottles, jams a couple of pours in them. And he invents the instant black Russian. Pouring the liquor down his throat in the back seat of the car. And he is still known to this day for the being the inventor of the instant black Russian. Anyhow, so we're going. We're on 91 North through Holyoke. Lights come on behind us. We're going too fast. So we thought. Cops uh, come up to the car, and uh, they run our plates, and it turns out my buddy Scott never registered the car, so the plates are no good, the sticker's no good, and the car's going to get impounded. Now, we are there, the tow truck comes, we hide the booze in the back seat, and the cops don't find it, they don't search. It's not about breaking any major laws. They give Scott a citation and uh, the cruiser leaves, the tow truck leaves, and the three of us are standing there on the side of the highway. They, they don't drive you. The tow truck guy wasn't going to drive us. And we didn't have a cell phone in those days. In those days, you walked. And actually, whenever a car broke down in those days, you walked to find the now elusive payphone. So we go down and walk into Holyoke, and uh, Scott calls uh, his girlfriend, who's going to come get him, but she's not willing to drive us to Northampton. So Stuart and I call a cab. The cab shows up, and being that we're both bartenders, we have plenty of cash. Let's let's go. But Stuart has a second plan. He says, "Let's go get the booze out of the New Yorker." So. Uh, Cabby knows where this tow place is because we remember the name of the truck. Okay, so the cabby takes us to the tow place and he waits around the corner. And Stuart and I go walking down the side street and decide, or trying to decide what we're going to do. Stuart says, Hey, Jay, why don't you jump over the fence and I'll watch for dogs? Okay, and uh, I did. I jumped over the fence. I don't know, 10-foot fence, 12-foot fence, whatever it was. And I can't remember if the car was unlocked or if I had a hanger or if I had the keys or the window was open, but I got into the car quickly and come running back to the fence with a bottle of vodka and the bottle of Kahlua. Now, the only problem is I can't climb the fence with these two bottles. So, very carefully, one at a time, throw a bottle over the fence. Stewart's out there like he's a fielder, catches the bottle. Holy shit, excellent. So, we got one. And here we go. Throw another one. Stewart, again, even with a bunch of drinks in him, Catches the second bottle. We're all set. <laughs> Can't believe it. 
No dogs, luckily. And uh, we get back in the cab, got to Northampton, tipped the cabbie well, because he knew where the tow truck place was. Went to Stuart's girlfriend, I think her name was Denise's house, and had an after hours party, drinking our ill gotten gains, as they might say, because technically we broke in to a storage lot to get them. So no one was hurt. We only had to walk a mile or two, and uh, we still had our little after hours party, which was the whole point of the whole deal. Anyhow, <laughs> what a night. This is Agent J Gatsby. Check it out.